The people who work here at Florida's Blood Center see firsthand the lives that are being impacted by blood donors. They know lives are being saved every day, but this really hit home recently for phlebotomist Josnelle Antoine. For more than 10 years, Josnelle Antoine has drawn blood from donors. The blood you give can save lives and sometimes your own lives. Those words took on a new meaning for this father of five when his cheerful little boy Gibbs started to change. When he was eating, at some point he would stop eating and then he would come over and lean over my wife's lap or my lap and he would not open his mouth for about a minute and then we suspected something was not right. They had good reason to be suspicious. It turns out, one-year-old Gibbs had a malignant brain tumor so large, doctors were afraid to remove the entire cancer. It was um, getting around the blood vessels, and if he were to get all of the tumor out, you might end up damaging the nerves that control his right hand, his left hand, his hearing, his eyes, and all of those things. He's even hitting habits or going to the bathroom, all of those things. So he said he couldn't get all of it out. He underwent surgery to remove half of the tumor and started chemotherapy, but something still wasn't right. He wasn't feeling himself. He was very tired and you could see he was very weak. Doctors recommended a blood and platelet transfusion. You could see, you know, the face was changing. He was becoming himself. He was much happier. You could see the tiredness he had prior to that blood donation was like gone and he's much, much happier than the way he was way before that. And now when Josnell walks into work, he sees the donors in a different light because the next person he draws blood from could be the one saving his son's life. But well, when he received that blood, it made me do my job with a much sincere and more joy knowing that it really helps people because it helped my own child. Gibbs will receive chemotherapy treatments for three years to shrink the remaining portion of the tumor. He's already had several blood and platelet transfusions throughout the past year, and his parents know he may need another transfusion at any time. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.